we are starting this new IP. We will be actually explore Bangalore through like different different guests. Should I pretend to be surprised now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the mode of our conversation today. I should be prepared for anything and everything. <laughs> So we're trying to see the city through the lens of distinguished personalities of Bangalore. And our first personality is our easiest access. You can't tell what the time is right now, but it's 6 a.m. It's only because the guest was available at this hour. Let's go. And let's see Bangalore through the eyes of Hi guys, I'm Bilal and this is Hi, I'm Meghna. Today we are going to explore Bangalore through the lens okay. of our very cool boss. <laughs> Do you like being called boss? This is the first time you guys. Three two. <laughs> 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 Might as well take my shot. What is this OTP? So I tell you, sir. So the common man of India, sir, travels in this thing called Uber. Uh, <laughs> sit in the Uber. I the, take Ubers all the time. So they never ask you for OTP. <laughs> they never ask you for OTP. I haven't taken one in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do we begin? Which part of town? So we are seeing Bangalore through your lens. Yeah. So wherever your lens takes us. Okay, cool. You mentioned you travel, no? Yeah. I recently saw you put up this Instagram story uh, from your travel, which said, uh, "Hey, I saw a sunrise. Uh, I will see twenty more." Is uh, that why we are doing this at six a.m.? <laughs> yeah. No, I said sunset, Bilal. You're not sunset. See, I told you <laughs> that. Sunset? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Smart. <laughs> are you are you trying to be funny or is this you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New coming. Coming I was like, I know my jokes will not land, and then mm. Nikhil, sorry, boss. Will. But it it is tough to be funny when you're yeah. trying to be. So, no, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Be funny. Say something. You got a hearty or cheeky? <laughs> I really thought Bangalore at like six thirty seven on a Saturday Christmas weekend would be empty. Not It's really. Not. No. I think everyone's like, oh, let's go to Lal Bagh. Let's go to Kabul. Yes, yeah, so Lal Bagh is somewhere I would come as a kid. Uh, not every day, but once in a while, because I used to live right down the road, maybe like a kilometer away. It's a banging place. Like, you, have you guys been here in the morning? Yeah. There's a lake in a glass house and. They have flower shows. It's also the first recommendation on every Bangalore blog. Things think, to do in Bangalore. Go I think Lal one should go to Lal Bagh. But if you're going there, I think one circle of Lal Bagh is about four kilometers. Don't hold me to this because I don't remember exactly. We'll fact check. You should do a run, and every time you go around Lal Bagh, you should take a different route. You should go by the lake one. You should go by that tiny hill ones. It's really refreshing. Very few cities have such a big park in the center of town. Do you so, prefer Lal Bagh or Kabut Park? Lal Bagh, I think, is like Kabut Park's big daddy, right? Kabut Park is tiny. That's true. So, where are we going right now? I I thought we'll break it up into phases. So, I lived in many homes in Bangalore. Okay. It's just in Bangalore. In Bangalore, yeah. Oh. Okay. Some willingly I moved out. Some I got thrown out of for making too much noise, <laughs> but were you always know. a rebel kid, Nikhil? You know those stupid kids who are rebellious without a cause. That was me. Oh my god! Yeah. If anybody said do anything, I would innately want to do the opposite. Don't add me to your will. <laughs> Don't you dare add me to your will. <laughs> Rebelliousness has died to a large extent. Oh, you're a changed man now. <laughs> Suddenly, you're a changed man. I'm older now. <laughs> Are you in touch with your school friends? Few, yeah. Who were your best friends? So I wow. sat on a bench from the third standard, 
uh, with two guys called Hussein and Janet. You posted wow. about them, right? Yeah, they were at home recently, and we have kept in touch. Hussein and Janet. Yeah. So, what were the lunches that their mums used to pack? So, my mom, me being the Brahmin boy, would send me for lunch. Like my tiffin box would have three containers. It would have cucumber, carrot, uh, like. Uh, it's a very low protein diet the thing people don't realize about vegetarian south indian households a lot of what we eat rasam and rice and curd rice none of this has a lot of protein in it uh, i would have a tiffin box like that and hussein and junaid on the other side would have mutton cutlets and <laughs> chicken biryani and stuff like that so a big part of our friendship is based on the fact that they were very kind and they shared their lunch boxes with me throughout my childhood that's insane hussein and junaid the food that my mom used to send me uh hmm. every day when my school bus would drop me at the beginning of the road and i'd walk back there used to be a few cows here and i would give it all to the cows before i went home because they would check my <laughs> tiffin box Wow. After eating biryani and mutton cutlets from what sense? <laughs> we sat on the same bench from third standard all the way up until tenth standard. Oh wow! Yeah. My school was not cool like your schools, huh? <laughs> Student council and Jyoti Krishnamurthy and all of that. That was the old. Like that. I okay. went to the huh? school with the highest number of franchises in the world, Which Delhi Public School. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a fancy school. Yeah. yeah. Also, my mum. put me in the most strict school till i was like 15 back back in the day i think schools were different how old are you guys now i'm 29 you 26 you're 26 bilal yeah why do i treat you with so much respect <laughs> <laughs> so 10 years ago schools were very different and mine was not like a fancy school like let me give you an example i know how expensive schools are now um Back when I used to go to school, the sum total of my school fees, including the school bus and tuition and all of that, was probably at max five thousand rupees a year. A year. A That's year. insane. Oh, yeah. Okay, so by the way, we're here. So this circle is called Sajan Rao Circle. Strangely, it looks exactly like how I remember it. Maybe the park has changed. Yeah. There are eight temples surrounding this place. You see that big shed there? Yeah. So the be- left. Yeah, behind that shed is like this big chariot which they bring out once in a year during some festival. This road is cool. It used to have some food. That yeah, that's the food street. Yeah. 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 Which that, is that that really bakery is banging by the way. It's called BB Bakery. They have uh, something. They have a cake which honey is honey cake. Not honey cake. Honey cake is the square thing, right? Yeah. But they have a plain cake, which is yellow in color, uh, like like lightly yellow, and we used to eat a lot of it when we were kids. V V Bakery is a recommendation from you. V B Bakery. V B. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the cake, the plain cake, they have something called Congress Cutlet. It, Correct. It's like uh, peanuts which are spicy. Wait, so when did you move out from here? I stayed here up until. The seventh or the eighth grade. Actually, it's it's kind of nice we are doing this because a lot of these places I haven't seen in a long, long time. Mm. So something good came out of this. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. Why nothing else? Are you not enjoying this? No, no, I'm I'm enjoying it now that I know that I'm going to get to see all this. I'm actually kind of like thinking, wow, this is a good idea. So I still live here. It looks really different now. Wow! But just on the left, this one, the Canada Bank apartments. Oh, we. So this apartment here on the first floor. This used to be ground floor. The floor above that first floor uh, is where we used to live. It looks like a jail now, but back in the day it was all open. I suspect I know why they have so much security. There are a lot of monkeys in this area. Oh, and. Uh, I'm gonna go on the darker side of it, <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. We'll go ahead with monkeys. Yeah. 
But Baswanguri is a place that has a lot of trees also, right? Like most yeah. of the roads have a canopy. Yeah. So in that part, there are two blocks. One block here, one block on the other side. In between the two blocks, we used to play cricket. Uh, there used to be a dhobi who used to sit here. The funny thing about the kids in the apartment playing cricket is everybody would hate us because there are all these cars, right? It's a basement essentially. Yeah. So even back in the day, each time you hit really hard, you would damage one car or the other. But all our parents were colleagues in a way. And they used to work with each other. Mm. So they kind of put up with us as a group. And each time the ball would go into one of the balconies, uh, because in the center there's like a pathway kind of place. Mm. One of us would get into a house which belongs to the neighbor. Climb from one balcony to another balcony to another balcony. Wow. So you're talking about monkeys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what monkeys were those? <laughs> you know, you know Nitin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nitin was the biggest of the monkeys and he was an expert at this. And people would call him up to climb from one balcony to another balcony. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine no mesh. It's oh, so wow. easy, right? Yeah, that is. So I've seen Nitin climb down from like, you know, third floor to second floor, go five balconies across. <laughs> But it had become like such a thing for us that even inside the house, there used to be two bedrooms in the house. In between one bedroom and another bedroom, sometimes we'd just climb through the balcony. <laughs> I, now I know exactly why this jail structure exists. <laughs> you are the reason, you brothers. <laughs> so between me and Nitin, who's more like... Not eh? I think, yeah. <laughs> I think he's not here, but he does a good job pretending. Oh, he gets away with it. Yeah. It's always the younger brothers who get caught. Yeah. yeah. We've done a lot of naughty, naughty stuff in this apartment. Uh, I have so many memories of Diwali. Uh, what we would do during Diwali is put, uh, you know, those tiny rockets. Mm. We would put them inside pipes and we would hide behind these things or we would go up to the terrace and we would try and shoot rockets that, you know, mowing buses and cars. <laughs> <laughs> all the kids out there. Doing all this. Remember, this. No, remember, there is potential. <laughs> so I lived here from the third grade to the ninth or tenth grade. I was really infatuated with this girl called Kritika. Who? Kritika, Where, wherever you are. Wherever she is, God bless her soul. Please don't feel bad. But I think she was one year my junior. And you know, dating in your era has changed. Like today when kids are dating, they're doing shit and stuff, right? Like, <laughs> back in... <laughs> what is doing shit? <laughs> so, back in the time of landlines, there would be one or two phones at home and other people could hear what you were saying yeah. on the other line. So I remember like, my mum and Nitin eavesdropping into my conversation that, it was a very like romanticized version of dating. Where so you and Kritika would talk on line line. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that was it. That's cute. That was it. And then her parents used to be doctors working at some hospital. They got transferred and she left. Oh my God. That's a very hard <laughs> And this is not like a third standard story. That is the sad part. Oh this is in the eighth standard or something like that. So, boy, boy. so that was your first crush? First, yeah, yeah, I consider a girlfriend also. <laughs> eighth standard, eighth and ninth standard. <laughs> wow, eighth and ninth, not bad. <laughs> no, I was not like a great student or anything. Mm -hmm. I, I think I was like maybe, you know, I went to that Oxford school which was CBSE. Mm -hmm. Somebody who used to get 70, 80%. 80% on a good year, 70% on a bad one or 60% on a bad one. Mm -hmm. Me too. And did you gravitate towards anything that you really liked when you were younger? Like in terms of subjects or things you when enjoyed? When I was doing? really young, uh, people would... I, I have like vivid memories of my uh, relatives, like my uncle and people around me asking me simple math questions. Like what is 20 into 20 kind of stuff. Apparently I was good at that. At some point in my life that got lost never to be found again but I don't um, I mean having worked with you for a while that you're really good with remembering numbers 
Yeah, yeah, I remember everything. I remember every time you guys have slacked, you have missed something, not responded to something. It's a memory of an elephant. <laughs> Mingna's been here for a while. I'm sure he's talking about Mingna. <laughs> uh, but um, but Nikhil, do you enjoy being a boss? I definitely think. Not. I don't think you like no. talking to people. <laughs> no, not particularly. I don't enjoy people management or any of that. I avoid it as much as I can. I don't think I'll, I like micromanaging at all. I feel like people innately do well or do badly. My interference in them doing badly or less or not doing badly is not very big. I don't enjoy the repetitive nature of managing people. So this road used to be a lot cooler. It's still very cool. Uh, I think it's called Rose Garden Road. Uh, back in the day, no metro. These trees would go up and join on top. So there was like an entire green canopy encompassing the whole road. And I used to go for walks here. This is where my second home was. We're going to go there now. This place back in the day was a corner house where I would go, right now it's something else, right? Like under construction, something. But uh, death by chocolate, rum raisin, something, maybe 150 calories, 150 grams of sugar per serving. <laughs> A lot of my body, fats are, body fat is still a remnant of how much I've had to eat there. So we were largely vegetarian because my mom still is. But my dad would often go out in while well, he was in the bank with his colleagues and stuff like that and bring us back meat. And my father would cook and he would cook really, really well. So every Sunday used to be chicken or uh, fish. He's Mangalorean, so a lot of fish as well. Oh, wow. But we didn't get enough protein growing up. And uh, I think fitness is more about food and sleep and all of that versus working out, which I realized much later in life. So that coffee day we just passed, mm -hmm. it was like the cool place to hang out when we were kids. Coffee day was really cool. Like yeah. Years <laughs> this ground, National College ground, we would play basketball, football, cricket, stuff like that here. Wait, did you and Nitin have the same friend circles when it came to like sports and... Yeah, I mean, mostly apartment, we were all like one group, together. right? Yeah. Funnily enough, Nitin hijacked all my classmates. <laughs> He's better friends with them now and hangs out with them. He hangs out with them 10 times more than I hang out with them. So what are your thoughts on love? Just love. <laughs> Being in love. Are you a hopeless romantic? I don't know. Or are you a rational romantic? I know we want to be authentic in everything, but I'm thinking how far we should go with this. <laughs> no, no, we won't take no names. We'll yeah, we won't take any Just names. as a general, like, what's Nikhil Kamal like as a <coughs> lover boy? Since people are going to watch this very good. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is my house. This looks very different, but there used to be a house here. We still live on the second floor. On the left, no? Yeah. The Same teenage thing. years were here. Yeah. How did you have the guts to drop out at that age? So nobody knew actually. It's an interesting <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. <laughs> but <laughs> other people thought... School changing. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember the area we passed earlier? Jane College had opened there, right? Yeah. So I met a friend called Tejpal, Tejpal Jain, Madhu friend, mm -hmm. typical, you know, lives in, uh, worked out of chickpeat, family business was textiles, house is on top. This is typical Madhu family in chickpeat in Bangalore. And we were very precocious about wanting to make money very, very fast. So we started selling cell phones. Actually, cell phones, he was not so much a part of. I started selling cell phones. From where? Where did these phones come from? So I had one. I got one around the 8th grade or uh, ninth. let's say early ninth standard. Okay. And then I sold one, made a little bit of money. Then I sold another. 
like I sold one, bought one, sold and one. Who are you selling one. to? So it was just, like second hand. No, yeah, just, just second hand. Randomly, phones. just kids in my area. Oh, because Jain College was there, and these Madhu kids are so enterprising. You know, they say na maaki ko kisi se kya the. They're like that. So because of Jain College and hanging out with those kids, I had like a ecosystem to buy and sell phones from. This became like almost a semi job per se, and uh, it grew. Like at one point, I had inventory of ten, twenty phones, and I was making reasonable amount of money buying and selling phones. And you were still staying at home at this point. I was staying at home at this point. Did your parents know you were doing this? No, no, they didn't. They had no no idea. Like throughout my life, there has been a theme. Parents have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's worked well for them and for me. <laughs> I was watching somebody, you know, like some Bollywood actor give an interview. Ki, meri mummy mere paise sambhalti hai. And he's like, when I want to buy a car, I go to my mother and I ask her for permission. She says yes or no. I'm like, has society made that cool? That That wasn't cool in my book, at least back in the day. You wanted to do everything on your own, you know. You didn't want to have to depend on your parents, be independent, earlier than you should be, actually. But I think more and more people are doing that nowadays. I've been going to their parents. Yeah, and also living with their parents. You remember we did that thing about how many folks are staying in India with their parents? Yeah. And it was like eighty-two percent. I think there's something wrong with that. Yeah. What? I feel like when you leave home, right? My first home, where I'd left home with my parents, was when I was about seventeen. The whole being responsible, not spending more money than you can because you need to pay rent next month, cleaning up after yourself. But you're still thinking like a son, no? Why I mean, not? think like a parent, and like, hey, this is my kid. <laughs> Because once you're a parent, I'm guessing parents just love the idea of their kids being with them. I think you think that. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, politician. No, no, no. Like, uh, like <laughs> for you, it feels like that. <laughs> <laughs> What is this politician? <laughs> politician? <laughs> politician? I'm a doctor. Do you think you'll ever be a parent? This is also partly why I don't have kids. I'm like, I'm going to ruin 18, 20 years of my life babysitting this child, and then. You know, luck serves me right. I've been lucky for long enough. The reverse will happen at some point. So you want to say, screw you at eighteen and leave anyway. So you want the Kamath legacy to end huh? with you. I think the notion of legacy in itself is seriously like, really. I feel like, like we all think we are more important than we actually are. You're born, you die, like every other. Animal on the planet, and you're gone. Nobody remembers anybody. But all the animals have kids, da. <laughs> I think like I used to have a pet dog called Hobbs. Okay. What? Hobbs. Hobbs. Yeah, he was Cute. with me for eleven years. The smartest dog I have met. Most dogs I hate. My dog I loved. <laughs> and some form of his descendants we have at home now. They will have descendants of their own. You think grandkids of Hobbs are sitting and thinking about Hobbs, my grandfather? Yo, <laughs> <laughs> do you believe that Hobbs are running the world? Okay, <laughs> Hobbs was nice to you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Don't have kids. <laughs> it's fine. But how does it matter? Beyond your time, what people think of you, how does it matter to you? Do you do you never feel like yeah, I want to be a parent? Like randomly, some once in a while, you'll feel like it, no? I feel like that is vanity to think that. I want to be remembered 50 years after I born. Nobody will be remembered. Like no king is remembered. No like demigod figure is remembered. And what is the point of being remembered? I feel like you should come. You should live well. You should be nice to the people you meet in your life, not after you're dead. And now you interact with posthumous legacy. Mahapurush. Huh? Mahapurush. <laughs> Mahapurush would be, you know, talking about legacy and no, no, no. This is the new, new way to talk about uh, life. Really? Yeah. What was the goal to be like rich, or was the goal to be like, hey, let's build something cool or what? Like, see, the goal again is transient, but 
at the very beginning it was to make money uh, it was to make money yeah yeah it's all rooted from your childhood again right like yeah yeah there have been experiences in my childhood where i have felt powerless by virtue of not having money yeah. that that is the first big criteria you want to solve for if i gave you unlimited amount of money or unlimited amount of power which one would you pick Mm. It depends on how much money or power. If you make me like the king of a country and tell me everything is yours, that's also money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. but I would say money. Money, ha? Huh? Money over power. Nice. Eighteen-year-old yeah. Nikhil Kamat selling phones. Ah no, fifteen-year-old selling phones. <laughs> okay, fifteen-year-old <laughs> selling phones. Seventeen-year-old. Joined this call center called Twenty Four Bar Seven, and your parents didn't know about this as well. They knew post fact, like after like six seven months of me working there. Like under those call centers, like night shifts and all. Yeah, mine was UK shift, mm. 4 p.m. to 1:30 a.m. to a.m. I used to sell accidental health insurance. When I look back at it now, it sounds so stupid. Why were people <laughs> buying? Accidental health insurance <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much were you earning from that? It, it started slow. Like I would probably be the first wage was eight thousand rupees or something. But back in the day, I'm talking twenty years ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Twenty years ago, eight thousand was pretty good. Yeah, it's not like eight thousand rupees now. Hmm. And you used to get commissions from sales as well. Yeah, you'd get incentives and bonus and all of that. Were But I loved good, that experience. Were you a good employee? Great employee. What are you saying? Great employee. I mean, uh, so what do you quantify as a great employee? My manager might disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was pretty good. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, that's all of us. <laughs> yeah, but what do you think is a great employee, though? I would sell a lot. So you had like uh, sales targets, right? Hmm. I would sell more than others. So the company I joined, when I joined, had. Less than say hundred, two hundred people. When I quit that company, it had four thousand people. Oh. So they grew, and I grew along with them. They promoted me a bunch of times. Uh, when I was eighteen or nineteen, they sent me to London to work with the client, the vendor, uh, Stonebridge. Stonebridge is part of a larger insurance company called Aegis. Was that the um, first Egon, time? Egon, sorry. Was that the first time you went out of India? Yeah, I didn't have a passport. I had to make a passport. Hmm. Uh, went to London along with five other colleagues of mine. That was insane. It was good fun. They used to pay us well then too. They'd give us an allowance of fifty pounds a day, which oh. for somebody who days. earns ten, fifteen thousand salary at that point when I was nineteen was like, okay, that's. Four five thousand bucks a day. Yeah. Yeah. But back then, as a eighteen nineteen year old kid, it's very aspirational. Yeah, right? yeah. Your parents must have been proud. What was Nitin doing all this while? Nitin went to engineering college. Oh damn! He did engineering. Oh, so Nitin was the good kid who went to engineering <laughs> college. <laughs> लंडन मेंट इवन मोर बिकॉज बैक देन इट वॉज सच अग दैट इट वॉज मच नीडेड वैलिडेशन यू मस्ट है रियली लाइक टेक यू नो वर इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज स्टैम्प मैं लंडन गया हूँ डिट कॉल सेंटर स्टार्टेड ट्रेडिंग एट द सेम टाइम मैन आई वॉज सेवेंटीन and back when trading was not even like easy or cool or uh, it wasn't that user friendly like it was anybody could have 20 years ago was did you what? know anyone who was trading in in yeah, 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 yeah. there were people 2003 ha huh. 2003 2004 and by trading i don't mean some big thing huh? it's like in 8000 rupees you have 2000 rupees that you can save You're take that, that money and buy something sell something Sher Khan used to be around back then. I still remember. I had a Sher Khan account. Nice. So yeah, I did that. Uh, And all from Bangalore. All from Bangalore. Okay. All from Bangalore. Did that. Had cycles where 
a few months saving so by the time i was 19 20 salary had gone up to 20000 30000 which felt like a lot Mm. Uh, back in the day, I would tell myself, "See, a doctor is only earning fifteen thousand. You're in a call center. You're earning twenty-five thousand, and feel very good about it." True, but doctor is saving lives. <laughs> I'm saving insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but I took that trading capital up to two lakh, three lakhs a couple of times, and then something big would happen. You would lose it all. That's scary. That's yeah. one of my biggest fears with this. <laughs> yeah. So for a while, I did both. I worked call centers in the night. I did trading in the morning. Uh, this sounds like no social life. No. So call center people have a social life of their own. Huh. The thing is, if you work till two a.m., you can't hang out with normal people because they're sleeping, right? Yeah. You have your own call center group to uh, hang out with. Huh. So we would do our own things, like two a.m. after shift. There used to be a tea shop on MG Road called Savera, right? It's still there. Yeah, you have to take a right. So we would go there and have Sulaimani chai. Wow! And watch people come and drive cars very fast, <laughs> going nowhere, but going from one end to the road and coming back. Okay, now I found the way. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Wait, so you know Siddiqs and all of these old places yeah, in Bangalore. Yeah. Fanus, we've Fanus lived on Fanus for years. Much yeah, later, Fanus yeah. was this place where we would get rolls, uh, lots of meat, yeah, for very little money. Like I'm talking like twenty rupees, thirty rupees, stuff like that. Damn. And uh, we would go and eat. But yeah, you're fairly quiet. Uh, you were, I mean, even before these zero that days and all. Uh-huh. Uh, you've been quite social in the city, like. I feel like you were outgoing a lot because every time I meet somebody from Bangalore, uh, like a local, they'll they'll have some story to Maybe. share that has you in it. Yeah, yeah. Like Actually. they'll know somebody you dated, or they'll know somebody you were friends <laughs> with. Thank you, Bilal. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was. I think uh, I'll tell you when. At the age of, between the ages of, I would say, twenty six. Twenty-seven to thirty-two, I was fairly social. So my age. Yeah. Last five years, last cup. Now I've become like fully anti-social. Yeah, I'm used to party and all. I used to party and all. Yes. Bangalore is lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it anymore, yeah. Like. But where would you go in Bangalore to party? Because there were places like Noon Wines. There was things like. Back back in the day, before your time, Meghna, there used to be Spin, Club X. Uh, wow, was entry an issue for you, Nikhil? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. That's why you started like investing in. Kari <laughs> lunga. <laughs> <laughs> and you went to like places like Le Rock, Picos, and all of that. Not so much. Okay. Not so much. More uh, spin and stuff like that. They were quite cool. There's, there used to be this DJ. What's his name? Cletus. What? Is he like this good? I don't want to do that again. Take a left here. Give a shout out to him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so now we're, we're we are twenty twenty one years old. We're having Sulaimani chai. Huh. Uh, we're earning good money. Not around, good money. Around twenty twenty one, I quit the call center. Be- by then, trading had become. So my manager of the time, there was a guy called Madhujit, who was my boss. Hmm. I started managing his money, and Ooh. then he was more concerned about me managing his money than going to call center. So so now you and Nitin mm. are trading. You've quit, mm. Mm. and then you and Nitin. We start this company called Kamath Associates at the age of twenty one. Ah, let's assume twenty one. Okay. okay. Twenty-one Kamath Associates starts. Uh, we manage money for maybe ten, twenty people. Of I have people you know, like people we know. Like some, uh, some of them are my clients. Some of them are his clients. Nitin has a franchisee of a company called uh, Reliance Wealth. I used to have a franchisee of a company called V2 Wealth. Uh, these are sub brokers in a way. So if you're a broker. Mm. You give somebody sub broker, the, so they can place orders on behalf of clients, and okay. they share the brokerage and commissions with you. Ooh, 
we did this for a while. We got a tiny office in JP Nagar, which we'll pass. I'll show you. And uh, tiny office, but we had so much fun at this time. It's not even funny. We we used to play Counter Strike in the office from 4 p.m. to 7, 8 p.m. every day. That's insane. Yeah. That sounds fun. Okay, so then we're doing Counter Strike. We have we're money. doing Kamath Associates. We're doing Counter Strike. We're doing this whole trading, uh, managing money thing. So how did you get clients? Like, did you have like a model portfolio that you would sell or? No, no, through referrals. Like somebody would be like, okay, smart kid, he knows what he's doing and give money. Ah, kind of oh, interesting. And this is happening in this area. In this area, everything JP Nagar beyond that time. Were you staying so, at home so wait, at we, this we point? We are in JP Nagar, Nagar right now, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Were you at home at this point, or had you? I left. Ah, okay. I left. I left. Seventeen. When I was seventeen years old. Before I turned, definitely before I turned nineteen, I had left home. Uh, uh, I did a sequence of different apartments I lived at. First one was somewhere near uh, Jeevan Bhima Nagar. Then moved back to JP Nagar. I've stayed in six different apartments, so five different apartments in that journey. At this point, high. I had started earning more money because I was trading, right? Trading was erratic. Mm. Like one month you would make ten, twenty lakhs, and then six mm. months you would wow. not make any money. Wow, that's a lot of mental stress. I'm yeah. Yeah, fifth and this I'm talking what seventeen years ago. Yeah, I still remember there was one month where I'd made some thirty, forty lakhs. So you're definitely making money while your friends are studying. Huh? Yeah. Then by this point, <laughs> yeah, you're definitely. But it's not consistent money. It's, it's not very money. erratic, chaotic money. And if it didn't work out, then you would have just been a brat, right? How? Who's like, gonna? If if it brand? didn't work out, like if the yeah. if you weren't good at trading, be like, ah, dekho, nikhil go. छोड़ दिया स्कूल कॉलेज आज कुछ नहीं कर रहा है या ऑल दिस ओनली मेक्स सेंस व्हेन यू लाइक दैट वाज ऑलवेज अ फियर लाइक दैट नीड फॉर वैलिडेशन इट स्टिल एग्जिस्ट टुडे डिड दैट ड्राइव यू 100% बैक देन इट वाज अ लॉट मोर राइट नाउ आई एम लाइक स्लाइटली मोर कंटेंट इन लाइफ आफ्टर ऑल दिस यू आर स्लाइटली मोर कंटेंट रिमेंबर वी स्पोक अबाउट हाउ इट फेल टू गो टू लंडन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम या या Now it feels like a chore. Like now, now it's like GP Nagar for you. <laughs> no, no. Now what feels good? Like I felt so grateful. I remember messaging somebody about this when I came back home two days ago. I came oh. back day before yesterday, right? Mm. I felt so good at home. I love what Bangalore has to offer. Like that peace and calm. पहले तो अभी success is here. Calm okay, so then <laughs> calm at the associates we. You're making Change. good money here. You're happy. No, no, not good money. We're making money erratically. Net, net. I don't think we're making any money at all. Okay. But it feels like you're making money because one month you're making ten lakhs, the next two months you're losing yeah, five lakhs. And were you like a spender at this time of life? No, no, no. Not really. Are you generally a spender? No. I, I don't think so. Right? Yeah, I don't. Think I think I spend less money today than I did five years ago. At this point. Did when you know nothing is out of your reach, no. Then you don't. Yeah. Then you try to just be like you Jai. assume nothing is out of my reach. There is many, much which is out of my reach. What is out of your reach? Like what sort of thing? Okay, tell me. Nice. Is it more like intangible stuff? You know, tangible stuff. Yeah. So many things. Not that you want them, but there's so many things I wouldn't ever get. Twenty-two com, twenty-one, twenty-two com with associates. Yeah. Twenty-three, we start Zeroda. Because we realize we are paying too much money to these brokers, being a sub broker, and it's not, it's Helping not scalable you. long term. Uh. So we start Zeroda. There are about uh, five, six people back then who are still around today. There is Venu, Karthik, Samir, Hanan. I would hate to miss somebody's name here. Nitin and myself. Nobody I missed. I think okay. sitting out of this office in JP Nagar. Where's the office? Uh, I'll show you guys. It's on Banarkatta Road. And we left the school. No, This we're is, gonna. I'm yeah. gonna show you the school. Ah, yeah. So. so this is the school. 
the school I spoke to or spoke about. It looks a lot fancier now than it did back in the day. Of course, now they like Nikhil Gama. The school to study. They haven't used their alumni network at all. They've not never called me once. I have never gone once. This used to be my class here on the second floor. Wow, I've spent a like lot of time there. kneeling down outside of that class. <laughs> That's where the school assembly used to happen. Was that the punishment in school? Oh no no! This is school when pe- uh, t- uh, teachers used to thrash the shit out of us. Whoa! Like if you, if I had a PT teacher who would beat me with a scale. My that class was very teacher, normal then. Yeah, my class teacher had this particular technique where she would hold your ear, and then you wouldn't know when she's going to slap you. She would keep pinching <laughs> your ear, <laughs> or and then suddenly she'd slap you. Damn! I think it's not the slap that hurt. It's the fact that you got slapped in front of your classmates. It's the ego boost. Nobody really feels bad about the pain of the slap because slaps are not essentially painful, right? I think society is like that even today. You but today, like kids have become very sensitive. Yeah, <laughs> you like you touch them a lot, no? The parents, parents will, will go crazy. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah, lawsuits yeah. and all are on their way. Hmm. Yeah, it's bad. Hundred percent. Yeah, so that was cool. Anyways, uh, we were at zero. That started. There were five people, and uh, we were doing. We decided to do broking, charge twenty rupees, all of that. Huh. Uh, we were doing trading. I was trading. It was a very very small operation. I still remember. Like, I would pay the rent of the office. Nitin would pay the salaries. We would like scrounge enough money. Four five years down the line, I think uh, we started getting some credibility. Started getting some press. So now you're like twenty six, twenty seven. Yeah, twenty six, twenty seven. When was the first time you felt like, oh, money is in the bank? Yeah. Mm. First time. Like when you and Nitin celebrated, you're like, oh, this is big. I think ten, eleven years ago, when I was twenty-five, twenty-six, mm-hmm. we had always grown up being fascinated by things that all kids are grown up, right? Uh, are growing up fascinated by, like cars and bikes and all of that. Yeah. On one particular budget, uh, the car and bike prices were going up. Government had increased some tax or something like that. Ah. Uh-huh. And we went and bought. Like that bike we saw in the apartment now. Right. It's actually that old, and uh, Audi Nitin bought for himself. The one that you're letting me ride from this <laughs> point onwards, right? No, no, it's long gone. It was an Audi A6. So when we got those cars for the first time, it felt like, okay, some money has been made. We didn't have much money. We probably had like made one crore rupees or something, and we spent. आते ऑडी ले ली थर्टी थर्टी लैक्स आउट ऑफ दैट टू बाय अ बाइक इन अ कार पैसे आए थे कहां गए पैसे से ये देखो या ओके नाउ यू नाउ फाइन 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 वी व्हाट यू हैव अ वेन नो नो वी मेड मनी नाउ जीरो दैट इज ग्रेट 25 यू बिकम सोशल एवरीथिंग या बाय देन आई एम लिविंग इन ऑफिस आई शो यू द ऑफिस या वन ऑफ योर ओल्ड एम्प्लॉइज मेंशन दैट यू यूज्ड टू स्लीप इन दिस रूम एंड देन कम आउट एंड ट्रेड एंड गो बैक टू वाज दैट योर पार्टी पिकअप लाइन Yeah, no, no, no it was office. actually like that. I used to sleep there. I used to live there only. I'd, in fact, the office that we had pre-COVID for like four, five years in my cabin, I had like a sofa which converted into a bed. I had a cupboard with clothes, and I had a shower in my cabin. So I just lived there for four, five years. Nice. And it was just fun. It it sounds like no, no, I. I like it. I like the idea. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like some oh f- hard working guy or whatever. It's not that. I used to enjoy being there. Like I had my office boys. I had my colleagues. We used to do MCX, so the shift ended at twelve in the night, right? Hmm. And I enjoyed the fact of living around people rather than living in an empty apartment on my own at that point in time. And, and now. Now it's different. Now I like <laughs> empty apartment. Now I like <laughs> empty apartment. Where are you guys leaving my house? <laughs> it's green. Yeah, so I stayed in the office. I lived there for a good six, seven years, and uh, not one office, but two separate offices. One office was a home where mm. my bedroom was on top, 
we used to have a risk management room opposite my bedroom me and kailash used to have like a tiny cabin on top and the sales and account opening team all of them would sit down so what kind of a relationship do you and kailash share because no one toxic boyfriend girlfriend type <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> There's a lot of love and lust, <laughs> but <laughs> superficially covered in drama. <laughs> I think we're all different as individuals, right? And uh, at some level, you have to be cognizant to that, recognize it, and appreciate it. We spend a lot of time together. Uh, over the years, we sat out of one cabin and worked for many, many years. uh we did a lot of holidays together uh up until recently he would come live with me once in a while we hang out a lot and i enjoy his company and we have a lot of philosophical debates but I both mean, of I, you are very like similar in your philanthropic side of things right no no very different very in different. in the in terms of causes or in terms of like in terms of causes in terms of how when, we believe it should be when done. was the first time you you actively like thought okay this is a very philanthropic move what was the first thing you've done in terms of like charity donation first thing i can't remember there's been so much over over the years i don't uh, to be really honest i don't know if it works i don't know if charity works like wh- why did you sign up for this gates thing gates pledge because i don't have uh, kids and don't intend to hey hello who want to be mai vande ko tayar hu when i think about it pragmatically mm. i'm like do i want to die when i'm 70 and leave my money to whichever bank it is in like axis bank or icici bank i feel no love in that i might as well help other people who I can't right putting my account number yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people who need it who I can think about you if you ever feel like hey mm. I want to do parenting <laughs> I want I don't have uh, kids uh, so yeah, you ever have. feel like you're alone in this yeah. I'll, I'll tell you one funny story yeah <laughs> at one point in life I had a phase where I wanted to adopt a child ai and I actually tried and that mean I I'm ready. tried I mean I researched it It is it's impossible. Damp, it's damned off for a single. It's man. impossible. Yeah. Yeah. It's impossible. You can't. No, no. But now single things man, are changing. I am willingly, man. by yeah. consent, ready to call you daddy. <laughs> 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 I'm sure my dad would be fine with this. <laughs> yeah. But why did you want to adopt? Just like that. I thought it was cool at that time. See, most of us, you know. We do most of our, most of the things that we do because we think they're cool, right? We do sponsor it. child though. That I do. I'm sure you guys are going to have kids and get married, right? I not to yourself. Yeah, I want. Sure. Genuinely. I want. No, I'm not sure. Everyone in office wants me to get married. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I'm the oldest. <laughs> uh, have they found a boy also? Oh, I always assume Meena's boyfriend will be white. Hey, I I also right. Yeah, she yeah. gives out Dude, that I vibe. Dude, I love this. this. <laughs> yeah. Even I definitely yeah. think she have like a William or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some artsy William. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some artsy. they go to art galleries and yeah. all. <laughs> nice. I like this. I like this conversation. He wears a tote bag. Wears <laughs> 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 no, Birkenstocks. I know. I know exactly. Hey, <laughs> we're picturing the same guy. <laughs> Can we stop? What's it like when you're angry? I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't, I don't you know. know I want to experience of, it. Actually, yeah. a lot of people were asking, like, how are you so calm? I mean, and like, and, and for someone like you, I feel like um, since you're so calm, like you getting angry would be like scary. So I don't get angry that much. Yeah, yeah I mean, so I get angry, but I, I don't. I'm not as emotive about being angry as the typical person. That's it. Okay, but it. But it comes once in a while, but it's scary, no? No, no, it doesn't come. I feel like it's more frustration that you yeah. ex- express. Yeah, frustration. Yeah. But you don't hold that behind yeah. you. Yeah, pretty, yeah. I uh, get frustrated. I get like frustrated when something's not moving, not getting done. You guys should know all about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which brings me to the traffic of Bangalore. I think traffic of Bangalore will be solved. <laughs> but 
in general though, Bangalore is like struggling with this traffic situation. Every city has traffic, Bilal. I no, was no, no. in Delhi. Bangalore traffic is Bombay traffic is equally bad. Mm, no, Bangalore is brutal. It's a tough thing to solve as well. We have grown so much as a city, right? Yeah. Like you compare Bangalore of today to 30 years ago, it's completely different. The what is like? What is like one of the major difference that? The number of people you guys have all come here. <laughs> I'm Meghna, you Bilal. Minas <laughs> from here. <laughs> <laughs> you only said work from the office. Sabhi people have come here, Aurangabad, Bombay, Delhi, Hyderabad, and they all come here and sit and complain, why is there traffic? <laughs> because of you guys. <laughs> this used to be the office. You see Ooh, this building? That's a subway building. No? Yeah, the, the, the floor exactly above subway. Half of it was us. Half of it was a hair, sol- hair salon called Silhouette. Ate a lot of bad food here. That's a good memory. Uh, bad food. What, what so quantifies we to, bad food? We used to eat food from this place on this road only. One of these things on the left who would send us chicken, masala and rice every day for lunch for years. And I'm talking like a meal which costed 25 rupees or 50 rupees or something like that. I think really bad color. Uh, basically like, I don't know what makes food bad or bad Yeah, I was going to ask you, you've been living alone uh, all these years. Uh, Did you cook? I Did cooked. I cooked. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I cooked Are really spicy cook? food. I think so. What, you might disagree. What is the one thing that you are really proud of? Yeah. I used to make a lot of like chicken curry and rice or uh, mutton curry and rice. A lot of meat. I think meat is easier to cook than vegetarian food. Prove it. <laughs> <laughs> cook for us. <laughs> I'm cooking for myself right now. My cook is on leave for a month. Oh. So, so every what? year for a month I cook for myself. Wow, do you not zomato and swiggy it? No, I like cooking. So I make one dish. I, it's like a big pot of chicken. You're like, I'm going to eat three days. I'm going to eat it. Exactly. But that's wow. the best way to do it. When but do you down, know, I get much. shredded. Each time my cook goes back to Nepal, one month in a year, I lose a ton of fat. So I take a pot, big ah. pot of chicken. I put ginger, garlic, onion, tomato, Chicken, rice, wow. all of it together and some spices like some yes. pepper, star anise, this, that, whatever I can find my hands on. And then I boil it for an hour and okay. then I eat it. Nothing with. Oh, I really boiled. thought this recipe was going somewhere <laughs> no. in the kill. I no. really thought. Even I thought. I was like, oh my god, there's a recipe no. here and there we go. <laughs> it tastes better than most recipes. I just boil it all together for an hour. Uh. I eat it. Then I put it in my fridge. I eat it for dinner, then I eat it for lunch again the next day and for dinner again the next oh day. Oh my god. This is my meal plan right now. It's blocked. Yeah, I can get my uh, cook to send you a different. No, no, I, I enjoy this. This is not like out of some... Uh, Desperate times. No, no, no. I enjoy this. Like, the small things like, you know, which vegetable I add in it, how much chili I add in it, how spicy I make it. It's one of those things, when you put in the effort to cook, the food tastes better also. Uh, you know, whatever you do on your own, uh, tastes sweeter. <laughs> nice. I'll take that. What is the best meal you've made till date? Mm, I think like pepper chicken or something. Chili chicken or pepper chicken. Uh, I'm yeah. not trusting this. <laughs> 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 it's not that bad. Like, <laughs> I feel come down to it's not that bad. <laughs> no, it's not. Some people have, have told me they love it. Uh, some romantic f- interest people. <laughs> or other. Who are you even cooking for? No, no, like over the years, like Nitin likes my food. My dad, when he used to cook food, right? Mm. It used to be so spicy when he, he'd make lunch on Sundays that... By the time you've begun eating, your tongue is numb in like the first 30 seconds. And you don't enjoy spicy food? I, I love spicy food. Oh. Like I'm talking about crazy, toxic, spicy. <laughs> Nikhil Kamath likes spicy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nikhil Kamath likes spicy. Spotted in Bombay. Yeah. <laughs> like spicy. I would take a Nagarjuna chili chicken and make it more spicy than it is. Whoa. Do you like Nagarjuna biryani or Meghna? Biryani. Meghna's biryani. Meghna's biryani, not Ammi Meghna. Nagarjuna biryani. Nagarjuna. 
लास्ट Oh wait, this is zero the office. Yeah, that's my cabin. See that top there, left top. Oh. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> this cute. This is the gold mine. Nitin, Nitin, my grandmother, my dad. This is us when we were in Chandigarh. Why didn't Bangalore family go to Chandigarh? Dad posted Canada Bank. We should talk about that sometime. This is my school ID card. I don't know why they added that. The Oxford <laughs> Senior Secondary School. Because ID cards Cousin. always have the worst pictures. Hobbs. Hobbs. Also Hobbs. That used to be my bed. It turns into a bed. Ooh. Do you watch movies? Yeah. Yeah. What's What? your favorite movie? Favorite? ऐसा कुछ नहीं. I recommend करो एक movie. Your genre of movies you like? I mean, I like that whole Sherlock Holmes vibe. Which Sherlock Holmes? So many there are. Like all of them. I watched all of them. The one with Benedict Cumberbatch. That, the one with uh, Robert Downey. That, the one with uh, there used to be the show called Elementary. Correct. Even that, I like that. I so still like, like Doctor M- House. Doctor House is good. Doctor fun. House. Have you watched Billions? Yeah. Have Did you like told it? you anything about Billions? No. Like <laughs> nothing. Some, I mean, some random people say some some random stuff, right? <laughs> people have told me Wolf of Wall Street also. I'm like, yeah, right. No, Wolf of Wall Street. I don't think. You know, I did an interview with that guy. Yeah, we were on on that call. Jordan Belfort. And so Nikhil in the beginning. What? Yeah, yeah. Nikhil in the beginning. It was so be- weird. <laughs> ten what? minutes in the into the it was a one hour interview and ten minutes into it I was like, what is wrong with this guy? I don't think they were like on the same plane, and that guy was so loud, and Nikhil was like so calm and collected and quiet. So when we before we got on it, uh. Nikhil <laughs> openly right on the video call, his team's also there. He's like, this guy is not as weird as what he's portrayed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Loudly on the call. That's <laughs> insane. And we started like that, but he turned out to be weird. On <laughs> you can even put this in the thing. Don't, you don't <laughs> like, have to cut it. Grow, growing we up, we're also we're always it. like starstruck about a few people, no? Not him. No, no, I'm talking about you. Me? You yeah. were you starstruck about? Yeah, I was like I starstruck was the by huh. many, many people, uh-huh. and then I met most of these people, and then I was like, <laughs> like what was I thinking? Dur se achhe the. Like who are your top three role models when then, you were young? They are my friends now. I'll get screwed if I mention. <laughs> hey, dude! Also, <laughs> you're like <laughs> friends with S R K now, no? <laughs> Have you met him? How was it? I like him. I met I met him. I I hang out with him. So when I go to Bombay, I one try person to away from S R K. Come here now. One sec. Is there anything that surprised you about him? How smart? How uh, how much information he captures? Like we were at some party. I had a conversation with his wife. I was sitting with her. Then I met him a few days later. Had gone to his house. He knew what I had said to his wife. He knew what he remembered every part of what I had spoken to him about. It. Yeah. Okay. So now transitioning to how we entered your life. What is this? Um, what do you think of social media? I have an opinion about media broadly. Okay. I feel like media doesn't work anymore. I feel like, like news media. I feel like journalism is dead. Are you willing to build something of your own? Why not? Someday. <laughs> Actually, Good why plan. not? I Because have I feel, 
question for you hmm. like do you think when you work on different things you're you're more energized and like pumped in life like yeah yeah and do you like easily transition between these yeah, yeah. planes yeah that's that's what i love working that's what i yeah. love about this job by the way same is every day we work on a different project yeah <laughs> it's so much fun most of which we don't complete <laughs> no 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 come on we are completing all of them uh slowly and steadily <laughs> i still want to know um you like i mean you've done like 20 years of this journey made money and um got successful okay mm. but this social media validation is fairly a very recent thing for you right yeah, yeah. on to yes One two years. No, actually, few more. A few? Few more years. Few more years. Huh. But like, I feel like this year has like disrupted. Like, huh. it's a whole new audience. Yeah. Right? It, it comes with pluses and minuses. <laughs> like it's it's so <laughs> funny. We went to that NAS summit <laughs> thing, and uh-huh. there are kids who came up to him and they're like, "Hey, we love your podcast." Uh-huh. And I'm like, "Yo, what does he do otherwise?" And I was telling Bilal, I'm like, "Itna saal kam ke abhi hi aate content creator bana ke chhod diya." Like that's insane. I'm asking that kid. I'm like, do you know what he does? Like, do you know what he does? He's like, podcast banana, right? I'm like, no, boy. <laughs> this was the office before the office we walked into just now. Yeah. This is where I lived for two, three years before I lived there. This was home. So this room on top, on the left, ah? Huh? Yeah, actually this on one, the yeah. other side was uh-huh. my bedroom. I'm guessing you used to have. very good parties here no not really <laughs> this one ha huh. i i don't think i've had a party now for like over a year like you've not thrown a party i haven't nice i don't we've, remember the last one we thrown in bombay it was like 2 3 years huh. bombay house was years ago <laughs> yeah 2 3 bombay. years actually no party yeah we'll do bombay house bombay huh. i feel like this party right everybody has fun but you me <laughs> like the host <laughs> like the never host. has fun <laughs> Ah. So I had this realization and I stopped. You don't attend. You're not throwing. What are you yeah. enjoying now? I I was thinking about this the other day. I need to start. Let's go skydiving. Huh? Skydiving is not fun. What do oh, you yeah, want? Yeah, I know, I know. How do you want to spend your time? I need to do something social because in this endeavor to be anti-social, I've become too anti-social. That's a very good calling. Yeah. Like I feel like it'll do so well. Yeah. I decided two, three, two, three years ago that I want to be anti-social, and then I became too anti-social. I feel like you lose contact with what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. True. Which is also important. No, no. It's a good enough break. You took COVID break. No, it's actually no you, COVID. You, I didn't take break. After COVID, COVID I took break. Yeah. Then. COVID, what were you doing? Social. Yeah. He was very social then. We were doing a whole bunch of things in COVID. Like I had a hospital, I had ambulances. Correct. Ah, okay. That That's... food drive. But all of that also meant social. But outside of work, what do you do? Uh, gym. One sec. I have a question uh. though. Every time we ask you, like, you know, I know we know that some days you're mostly traveling. Some days. You have meetings till like ten, ten thirty in the night. Uh, so you're pretty much working all the time. You work weekends as well. Mm. So when is your off time? Wow, this is like the most oh. propaganda question ever. <laughs> yeah, but. आप फन के लिए क्या? आप आम चूस के खाते हैं या काट के खाते हैं? But it's so true because I, I keep thinking <laughs> about it, and it's <laughs> it's literally from my curiosity that I want to know, <laughs> like when do you get your downtime? I get in between all of this. I get a reasonable amount of downtime. It's not that bad. Okay. Can we like, call this also downtime? Yeah, this is also downtime. This is downtime only, no? Yeah. Podcast is also a downtime. Podcast is also downtime. I yeah. like to believe because <laughs> um, I feel like you've been doing those anything, conversations. Anything that doesn't make money is downtime only. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, there's a lot of things going on right now, and they're all in that zero to one phase. Mm. So it's a little bit more hectic. So 2018, 19, I decided to spend less time on broking. Uh, all I do for them now is 
manage money uh, i would say cfo role kind of a thing okay but i'm not actively involved like i once was i don't go to the office every day mm. so i had time to do other things and then we started doing a lot of uh venture capital private equity eggs in other baskets uh, ah yeah. content business investing business between nk square and gruhas i would say they are operational venture capital it's a new term to coin but wow these are companies we fund operate build along, build yeah in various domains i think gruhas is focusing on prop tech in consumer uh nk square is focusing more on private equity around consumption we did something in gaming content is a big piece in this content is not a business really today right? yeah and i don't it's, i feel like it's very it's a, I, i mean can i call it like distribution i i think building distribution yeah it's also that but i think it's a need that needs to be solved like i was telling you about journalism again yeah. when we do it if we do it yeah I don't think we can ever do it with the intention of, of making, making money. money and do it right. Exactly. That, no, that's the only way we'll be able to do yeah. it right. Yeah. We have to do it right. So please earn more money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm vouching and I'm waiting. I'm counting on you. <laughs> yeah. There was someone who asked, "Why don't you do an all-woman podcast?" चाहिए यार इतना ढूंढते हैं. Please. Can we be honest? <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we should be honest. Like we should be honest. Every podcast we are sitting and looking at. what woman would be apt for which podcast we find it hard to find it's not that we don't want to call them it's just and, that and and shouldn't be like that you shouldn't like yeah. look for i think it's wrong i think it's yeah. bad it's it's a fault and something to blame society for but there aren't enough women in in these roles that we are seeking them but no nikhil what is the reason why did you start a podcast i used to have a lot of dinners at home Um, yeah amidst 10 12 people i would invite and very interesting people like some politicians some startup unicorn founders some old school business people and the conversations were so good that people kept saying you should put a camera in the room hey that's cool and so i've heard this from a lot of your close friends yeah, that you this. like doing this yeah. thing where you pit people yeah yeah who are different oh my god we've had so much fun with this <laughs> like so many conversations but which would have been so fun and there would have been so much to learn if there were a camera in the room so it was very organic we were doing this anyway and mm. we thought let's, let's start put recording a camera into this yeah. We were talking about how we started the podcast, <coughs> and that the first episode we called it unedited huh. because you wanted to put out as raw conversations as possible. Yeah. And then we started shooting for six hours, yeah. and then we couldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think next year we should target to put out at max twelve podcast, one a month. At max, one a month. I think okay. we need to move from ones in fifteen twenty days to ones in a month. Yeah. Okay. That will give us more time to go in depth, to research more, improve quality a little bit. Agreed. Like now that WTF is is a huh. thing, hmm. what is your like vision of that? I think to go deeper, improve quality. It's a great way of educating people and ourselves and me without making it look boring like. old school education which increasingly does not seem to be working like anybody who has watched all our podcasts yeah i think has done a mini mba i know people i know it. people who make notes yeah, yeah. that's it i've seen those yeah. yeah pictures as well so like, i think that's a great thing if people are doing like really are learning so much without being bored maybe that is the future of education and we'll play at that and we'll see where we can take that so this is something that's really famous ahead, ashoka right? pillar yes so my dad used to work at a branch of canra bank which was down this road okay. so i spent a lot of time here it was called canra bank ashoka pillar branch as a new um person to bangalore uh uh-huh. if i asked you hey what do i do in bangalore what are the things i should do what would you recommend 
I feel like Cabin Park on a Sunday morning when all these guys bring their pets. Oh, that's there's hundreds of pet dogs running around. Mm. I think it's a cool thing to do. I think you'll enjoy it. That's nice. If you're into fitness, a run around Lal Bagh is a good idea. Okay. Uh, definitely do coffee breakfast at places like. Third wave. <laughs> third wave. Third <laughs> wave. He just uh, plugged third wave. Yeah. Araku. Araku has great. Araku is great coffee. Yeah. Yes. Araku has uh, good food. Huh? Like hmm. scrambled eggs on toast, masa pancake. Araku stock. <laughs> no, Araku is not for profit. I think. No, no, really? that's fine. But yeah. um, uh-huh. you plugging it in, it's like uh, it's like avocado toast and lavash. I like sabko. Sabko. In- in hey, Bombay. Nice, yeah. dude, they yeah. opened one here also. No, no, they have not. One small kuti thing. Ah, but they come. I think they're coming to Bangalore. I think Sabko is banging. I feel like it's in a league apart. Breads are there. so good. They are. Their breads are. You so know, there are three guys. One of them, the the chocolate here. Yeah. One of them is the. The bread. Rahul is the uh, main guy, I think. But the chocolate here, what's his name? Fabian or something. It's like some. Obnoxiously good-looking individual. He's French and from wow. Oroville and all of that. Smegna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is going to his coffee shop is not good for your ego as a guy. But. Oh, Nikhil. Don't stop. Your ego was hurt. Who is the one who is looking better than you? You don't want to stand next to him, but uh, I think they make banging coffee, and I hope they come to Bangalore. But what is Bangalore Airlines? I used to go a lot back okay. in the day. To eat, to do what? What is Airlines? To just chill. Airlines, airlines is dosa place. Dosa yeah. idli, but also coffee, open air, under like some really old, Tree. massive trees. Okay. Very Bangalorey, very vibey. Uh, definitely check it out. Okay. Uh, I can give you individual dishes that I like. Okay. Uh, I think Nagarjuna. Biryani and mutton pepper, no brainer. Ooh, swiggy karo, go and eat. People <laughs> should definitely do it. If you go out drinking, partying, and all that, you should totally do Empire Chicken Kebab and Ghee Rice. After. After, because they're open all night. Hmm. You speak Kannada, no? I speak Kannada. I mean, yeah. you also speak. Kannada. I grew I up speaking Kannada. I speak to my parents in Kannada even today. Really? Yeah. yeah. Say something. Teach me something. Yeah. Huh? Say In Maga, hanging there. He said, "You have no idea, is it? Yeah. Yeah. No. Me and Mingna should just talk in Kannada from there. Yeah. I don't need that a lot. Solpa dot by there. Ellin da no one but it's there. Na 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 na. Pagal bola mere ko. Say no. What do you say? जावन जलवे आई एम नॉट वेरी फ्लूंट इट कोंकनी बट आई नो इट बी माई डैड इज कोंकनी ना सो यू बॉर्न इन हरियाणा नो नो बॉर्न इन कर्नाटका इन शिमोगा लिवड इन हासन फॉर अ बेट went to karnal for a bit came back to bangalore and then my dad kept getting transferred but uh, me my mom and nitin we stayed back in bangalore hmm. uh, and we continued to live here but he moved around my mom's family is uh, from bangalore cuz she's from mysore originally right so damn so you you're a through and through bangalore boy you recently launched this you were at this launch of this unboxing bangalore yeah. book as well yeah yeah I think that's the thing, you know, the big, big differentiator at the end of the day. Like, you know, screw all the roads, the traffic, the all these things don't matter. Mm. Uh, the people of Bangalore, I think, are second to none. Uh, the love they have for the city, how how nice as they are as people. Delhi is famous for. For certain things, yeah. and like if you had to differentiate between Delhi and Bangalore, yeah, Hyderabad is famous for biryani. Uh, Aurangabad is famous for whatever crap I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hello. <laughs> Bombay is famous for good-looking people. <laughs> <laughs> Hustle culture. Delhi is famous for people who have a lot of money and they know it. <laughs> <laughs> All these circles you hang out in the hills. Bangalore is famous for. Bangalore is famous for nice people. 
nice people nice welcoming normal that's why i understated fit in. subtle people that's why i fit in so well i Did think anyone can fit in <laughs> in bangalore very well yeah not just you bilal no <laughs> and if you have to build something if you have to start a company yeah. the access to talent at the cost that you have in bangalore i don't think you have any yeah, in the world yeah that's true I read about this. Bangalore has the highest acceptance rate to new products and new yeah. um, innovations. Also, yeah. I think that's because we're so multicultural, right? Like, I mean, I didn't know I'd ever meet a person from Aurangabad. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I love the plugs, dude. Our share got development. Woo! I like it. But I have a group of uh, friends who are like total Bangaloreans, but we all catch up once in a while and we figure out how to make Bangalore even cooler. Like Kiran is part of that gang. Prashant is part of that gang. There's like seven, eight of us. Yeah. And we're all constantly working on projects to. How do we make Bangalore cooler in actual and cooler from a narrative standpoint? Okay, and tell me one idea. We're planning. Uh, have you seen cherry blossoms in uh, yeah. uh, Japan? Japan? Yeah. 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 So the Silk Road Road has it, right? Yeah. So we're planning to plant ten thousand trees like that. Wow. Wow. In Bangalore, so one season when they blossom, it's That's so pretty. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. The entire central central part of Bangalore. And it's wow. like the whole road gets yeah. filled with like pink yeah. flowers. And, and it'll be so cool because there's so much traffic. You'll be able to enjoy it so much. Yeah. <laughs> <you're in> car. <laughs> you know the British brought that plant here. Yeah. To Bangalore, sweet chariot. Yeah. It's still here. Yeah, sweet chariot is another banging place. People think it's only dessert, but they have food. Yeah. So when I used to work in twenty four bar seven, I'd take my dinner break. There's a, I had an office called Embassy Icon on Infantry Road. Ah. Uh-huh. So we would go to Sweet Chariot on Cunningham Road. Ah. Uh-huh. And they had such good food like grilled chicken, grilled fish, salads. You remember Casa Picola? Yeah, they used to have fish and chips. Amazing, amazing place. fish and chips. Yeah. This is like a really cool place to eat <laughs> <laughs> in Bangalore. We should check out right now. There's no parking, so we're Corner not going to go. Corner House Airlines. <laughs> airlines, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so every, not every night, but many nights, I go for a walk on this road at 11 p.m. or 11:30 p.m. My poor startup skill. I'm going to be standing here on the road. <laughs> but listen to this: 11, 11:30 p.m. Uh-huh. And I walk for maybe forty-five minutes an hour. I go all the way up to Church Street, Residency Road, all of that. Wow! And Bangalore is so safe that I can walk, and there's no issues ever. Bangalore Jodo Yatra <laughs> <laughs> by NK. No, but actually, yeah, but finish, Bangalore walking is fun. Yeah, but no. So I mean, in conclusion, mm-hmm. uh, so Meghna and I are thinking about making this into an IP, mm-hmm. yeah. where we actually pick. Uh, like-minded people and distinguished personalities of Bangalore. Oh wow! I'm hearing about this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, the reason do we have your approval <laughs> and your car? <laughs> and uh, did you guys just come up with the idea? <laughs> but what do you think? Huh? What, what do, do you think, think of I this? Did you enjoy this? I enjoyed it, and I think you should definitely do it. Uh, we'll see Bangalore through different people's yeah. lenses. Yeah, and I feel like the only thing I would suggest to, suggest to you guys is you have to do it better than anyone else has, has ever done this before, or anything similar. From the next episode, I'm not going to appear on screen, but I'm going to be producing your show. What are you going to call it? Um, WTF is Bangalore. WTF is anything. Bangalore. Uh, WTF is, is X, whatever is city we're in. Uh, things are we we would like to revolve everything around WTF is. Yeah, uh-huh. there's so much to do in Bangalore before you go to other cities. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So no, so give a call to action. No, guys, like, share, and subscribe to these uh-huh. kids. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, please like, share, and subscribe so these guys can create something better than anything in a car that has ever been shot in India. You know, we'll not just do car. Car. We'll do other things. So, I mean, okay. what if like for this particular could- property, it's car, right? Um, it could be a mix of else? car and outside. Car, and restaurant, yeah. walk, okay. walk. Okay. Hey, now can we do a house tour? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye all. Okay. Thanks so much, Nikhil, for doing this. Thank you, guys. This was fun. This was Thank fun. Thank you so much.